So I've got the old coyote pulled up here. We're gonna go ahead and drain some oil out of it. Put some fresh oil in it. Come in, come on. You're watching the Uncle Mike YouTube channel. Stick around. See, I just did the fuel filter over here on the other side. Up in there. Yep. Running a Wix on it, 33507. And this is for a DK35 Coyote. So, I say I've been looking for one of these. This thing's haggard, man. But, don't worry about that later. I'm probably just going to make something for it, to be honest with you. A little sheet metal. <laughs> Call it a day. Let's go ahead and jump under this thing, grind some oil out of it. Over there on that coyote over there. Gonna be running some Rotel in it. Got us a new Wix filter here. It's a 51381. So we'll go ahead and pre-fill this a little bit. Mainly lubricate them threads and that O-ring and spin her on. Come on with it. Go ahead and top this old girl off here. Uh, from looking at that drain pan, it looks like it holds about six quarts. Um, the owner's manual just says fill to the full mark. So. so I got some new filters here. They're from Legacy Tractors out of Colorado. These are OEM filters. Go ahead and stab these things in there. I did try to find a uh, Wix replacement, something to use. Other than having to resort to using or ordering filters online, I like to, if I needed to go get a filter, I'd like to be able to just get it locally, auto value or something like that, just a something local. That's nice and tight. Oh, Coyote. Genuine parts. This is the outer. I found an outer that might work, but the inner was just the hardest part. I did find an outer that would work, actually, now that I think about it. Only thing that's different is the seal's a little different. But we'll put this thing on here. Mm, come on. Get in there. There she is. Just like that. Run that down nice and snug, get a good positive seal. Don't want no dirt getting into this old girl. That's tighter than the, you know what I was about to say, but I ain't going to say it now. Come on. Fuel cover back on. Just when we traveled out here from Arizona, these doggone things blew up, about lost them. So now that they're back on, that's no big deal. Come on over here, fire this old girl up. Just got her all chopped off the hole. Hold on. Ooh, she barked right to life now. Come on. Let it run for a little bit. Check the fluids. Day out, beautiful day out. Let me tell you that. We've just developed a nice fuel leak. I really love that. That's like just cool. Yeah. 
I don't. Oh, that'll make you sick. Just drove down here to take the trash out and it smelled like fuel and that's probably why. Got that new fuel filter bowl on there. Just sprayed some uh, degreaser on it. Got to go hose it off because it was making a doggone mess. Factor's purring right away. Filter bowl ain't completely full, but I don't really think that matters. It ain't dying or nothing. Should be good. So this wheel broke here. Not really the wheel, but the mounting system for this wheel, this cast steel piece on the brush hog. It has seen better days, folks, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. Ryobi makes quick work of these things here. Oh. Let me, give me one second here. Take care of this. Pop this thing out here. Get a good hold on it. Snapped. Pretty tore up. So I finally found a new hub for the old tail wheel on the brush hog. And uh, the ID on that is a lot bigger than this. So I swung into the tractor supply here. I bought some bushings here. I'm gonna see if I can't get away with using bushings inside of this hub. Cause this is already a bushing right here. But we'll see if I can't press these in and get away with using a bushing in a bushing. Cause I cannot find one. I've tried a few of the tractor supplies around, not tractor supplies, but suppliers that sell tractor parts around here. Can't find the hub that has the same ID as this and it'll bolt to that wheel without having to buy a new wheel, changing everything up. Now this ought to make for a very simple process here. Oh, hang on. Drive this bushing in here. Worst case scenario, I'll just pull this bushing out. Drive it out from the other side. This thing would just stay put, man. Sorry about this shaky camera here, but I'm trying to just catch this on camera. Oh, it's tearing up my dang hammer. Let me get a different hammer. So I went ahead and drove both bushings in. And now I got a tight fit on this bolt. Very nice. So we'll go ahead and throw this on the wheel, bolt it all up, and grease this zerk here until we get some nice purge out. And we'll be back in action. So now we got pretty good fitment here on this hub to this wheel. Go ahead and snug these down with the old Ryobi. back on the old machine. Nice zerk fitting right there. Here's this tail wheel back on this brush hog. I'm all up in the dog on cobwebs. But I got her on there. Got some nice squeeze out on the old thing. But she shall work. A little bit of grease mess. Ain't no big deal. I gotta get that slip clutch I just bought from Hank over there at Hamilton Hill Farms. Run the slip clutch on here and then this thing will be a grass cutting machine or brush. 
I guess.